Christ alone, my hope is found. He is my light, my strength, my song. This cornerstone, this solid ground, firm through the fiercest drought and storm. What heights of love, what depths of peace, when fears are still. When striving cease, my comforter, my all in all, here in the love of Christ I stand. In Christ alone, who took on flesh, fullness of God in helpless babe, this gift of love. And righteousness scorned by the ones he came to save. Till on that cross, as Jesus died, the wrath of God was satisfied. For every sin on him was laid. Here in the death of Christ, I live. There in the ground his body lay, the light of the world by darkness slain, then bursting forth in glorious day, up from the grave he rose again, and as he stands in victory, since curse has lost its grip on me for I am his and he is mine bought with the precious blood of Christ no guilt in life no fear in death this is the power of Christ in me from life's first cry to final breath Jesus commands my destiny no power of hell no scheme of man can ever pluck me from his hand till he returns or calls me home here in the power of Christ I stand of hell, no scheme of man can ever pluck me from his hand till he returns or calls me home. Here in the power of Christ I stand till he returns or calls me home. Here in the power of Christ. I stand till he returns or calls me home. Here in the power of Christ, I stand. <laughs> okay. That is a song that I really love. But anyway, hey, that's... Um, <laughs> I, I've been waiting to do that song. I've just been waiting to find what is like a good time or a good subject or something. I don't know. But uh, I guess Easter, Resurrection Sunday, the uh, Holy Week, as uh, many people call it, would is fitting for it. The very... The thing, the, the key, the, the meaning, the purpose, the, the why, the how, everything, this whole, everything that I've ever said on this channel, hopefully everything I've ever said on this, on these videos has centered around that very idea in that song, Christ, you know, lived, 
perfect sinless life, was crucified, died, was buried, rose again on the third day. According to the scriptures, that, that's been everything. And, of course, since that is the holiday, holy day that is recognized this week, and I figured it was finally an appropriate time to, to do that song, and it's been a great reminder over the past couple of days and in preparation for the week and, and the, the recognition, the celebration, you know, the back to basics. We've talked about it before and, and even through the beginning of this study in Colossians, it's that, you know, in Christ alone, that's, that's all that we have to worry about in this life and not even worry necessarily. But if we're doing everything that we know we should be doing the way we should be doing it in God's leading and with the desire for, you know, it's not that there are always this one specific thing you must do. There are options sometimes in, in life and neither one is bad. Maybe you find out later, hey, the other one could have been better, but it's fine. You know, it's motive. It's what's our reasoning for the things that we're doing. Is it a biblical uh, mentality? Is it a biblical pursuit? And not even just like, oh, I'm desiring to be a pastor because it's a biblical pursuit. But again, principle, ideas, is it a, a principle of the world? Is it the mentality of, of man? Or is it because of what Jesus did? Is it because we're thankful for what he did? Because we submit ourselves to him because of what he did? Because we love him since he first loved us. On the radio, there's been a bunch of different sermons that have been this topic because it's this holiday. And that's, that's the general consensus. And anytime, you know, you hear somebody, a good pastor, at least, I guess, if they're teaching on that subject, that event, it's, it comes down to, so now what is our response to that? Who do you say that I am? It's recognized that it's a historical fact that it happened. He did die. He was a real person. He claimed the things that he claimed and he died. And so now what do we do with that? is the question is the next the next step and it's a daily question it's a daily choice pick up your cross daily deny yourself daily trust daily obey daily but it's you know as i've said before it's quite simple but at the same time it's it's not it's simple in the sense that he does most of the work and we just submit we just allow him to do the work that he wants us to do. But it's difficult in that <laughs> we still suffer tremendously in this life just because life is difficult. But then we also suffer with our flesh. And it, that's why it's a denying of self. That's why it's a beat my body into submission, as Paul said. That's why it's a separating ourselves. It is well with my soul kind of a thing. There wasn't a lot that I had to for an idea of what I was to talk about, but it's just a good reminder. It should, it should, it shouldn't just be this week that we're thinking about the death and resurrection of Jesus. It should be a daily thing, and that should remind us every day to, you know, the refocus, the Hawthorne effect. When you're, when you understand that somebody's watching you, your behavior changes. That that's common amongst us human type <laughs> but we should understand that god is always watching god always knows and we're accountable to our our own actions in and of ourselves anyway the honor system and so there's there's an accountability regardless and that's why people don't like jesus that's why people don't like god because we don't like to be accountable. We don't like to be told that what we do or what we want is not right. But that's exactly why we should do it. Because, <laughs> again, it's so many different things that we've talked about before. Even just like the devotional that I read this morning, talking about Joseph of Arimathea, related to the gospel story. But he was a secret Christian for as much as we know of his life. It was just that was what was mentioned of him. He was a disciple of Jesus, but not publicly for fear of the people, of persecution, of losing his reputation and everything, you know. 
He was a generally successful, rich kind of guy. That's why he had that tomb and all the, you know. But there was a point, and, and, and it was that particular story when he was mentioned, that he stepped out into the public eye, as it were, to demonstrate his faith in Christ and his allegiance to Christ by giving him that proper burial, which was not going to be given to him because he was a, a criminal. He was some. He was crucified, but he he finally did. You know, he was not ashamed of Christ in front of people, and it fulfilled prophecy. He he was part of God's. He was someone that God used to fulfill his will, his plan for the way that things were supposed to be. Just like, you know, with Mary, she, God chose her to be the one to raise the baby Jesus, and she submitted to it. And it's not that suddenly she gets more honor and she's the queen of heaven or whatever, or that Joseph of Arimathea has some special place in heaven because he fulfilled that for Jesus, you know, or, or that any of us have any special thing for us because of the things that we do for the Lord. We do get rewards, that's true, but it shouldn't, it, it pales in comparison to what he did for us. It is our reasonable service, as Romans would say, to just give ourselves, to be a living sacrifice. We had actually just talked about it recently. My dad had mentioned in the Old Testament when they, in the old days when they do the sacrifices, they would have these hooks for the animals on the altar because there was so much blood and whatever but the point being they had to hold the sacrifices to the altar but with us there's no hooks it's all us choosing daily to go to lay down lay our lives down for him and he's not forcing us to do it he doesn't force us to do it he didn't force us to even come to him but he he's there and he he knows that his plan is perfect he knows that what he desires is the good thing, and he's going to get his way either way. Our God is in heaven. He does what he pleases. But do we desire to be a part of the story? Do we desire to do the work, to stand in the face of scrutiny, of possible death even, for the sake of eternity, for the sake of, of Jesus? And tomorrow we'll ask the same question of ourselves. You know? But yeah. Anyway, I just, I love that song. That's one of my favorite songs. I can say confidently. I don't like to pick favorites, but I know that that's genuinely one of my favorite songs. So I'm glad I finally got to do it. I don't know if you can tell, but <laughs> yeah. So uh, happy Resurrection Sunday. Happy Good Friday, whatever. Grace and peace and Maranatha and see you guys next week. If, if the Lord should tarry, at least, but yeah, anyway.